Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here. Um, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi Libra. Remember guys, it is a general, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. However, you can always get a personalized reading and I'll make sure to link it below. And if it does resonate, have fun running with it guys. And if it doesn't have fun throwing it out, it just means that these messages were meant for you this time. I'm sorry, but hopefully next time they will. And as always, feel free to swap energies if it's not used the person you're dealing with or people in your surrounding. Also, do not get caught up on gender. Feel free to swap the gender as it resonates in your life and your timeline because remember, time is fluid. And if you are watching me on my YouTube, um, I would so appreciate you guys heading to my uh, Facebook like page, same name, Moon Girl Tarot and more, where I do other little readings on there too. And uh, you can totally interact with me on there or a message for an appointment. And uh, it's a lot of fun there for me. So please hit me up on there. Give it a like and a follow. I'd so appreciate that. And um, what else? Oh, as always, thank you so much for your support by subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. And I do read every comment and I do respond. So thank you, thank you so much for all your support. And if you guys would like to bless my channel, you totally can through Facebook Pay on the Facebook Like page or paypal.me slash moongoddess11. Okay, so let's start off with your reading. First, we have Ten of Cups upright with the Sun reverse. Then we have the Hierophant reverse with Two of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting here is if you guys, some of you might be in a committed relationship or are even married or, you know, um, could just be, you know, living together, maybe even have children. But I do see things maybe being on the rocks for you guys. Maybe things are not going as well. Because um, we do have the Hierophant and it's in reverse. So what I see here is there, there might be a separation here or because the Two of Pentacles is here too, so uh, in reverse. So what I'm seeing here is um, somebody here might be contemplating uh, whether to separate or not from this connection. Um, yeah, there there might be troubles in this in this connection right now. Um, it's causing worry, concern even embarrassment like I don't know should I leave should, but it might be too difficult to leave for one reason or another um however there is going to be a choice made here okay um let me see what else is the other cards okay then we have the ace of swords upright then we have the two of cups reversed I'm sorry the four of cups reversed then we have the ace of of pentacles upright and then we have the two of cups upright okay so I'm getting different things here guys first things first what I'm getting here is um, I do feel somebody getting cut out of this connection because somebody here wants a new beginning somebody here is determined to have a new beginning um, someone here is trying to gather the strength to to overcome this and and perhaps just leave the situation somebody here wants success um there is fertility energy here guys so um you know be careful if you do not want to have a baby also this can also mean um you know some again new beginnings um somebody here wants love connection but i do feel like i said somebody somebody is definitely thinking about leaving this connection and looking for their happiness elsewhere because somebody here wants new possibilities new relationships uh new approaches to old problems somebody here might make new acquaintance um so they might somebody here might have met somebody new or is going to meet somebody new so um i'm i'm kind of leaning on there's a third party here then we do have the ace of pentacles upright with the two of cups so Somebody here might be working on themselves a lot. Maybe they've taken time to do a lot of self-care, self-love. Um, maybe they're trying to make themselves look more attractive. Um, I also feel that somebody here uh, is coming in to offer a cup of love, whether to this third party or this third party can be offering it to you. Take it as it resonates, but somebody here is coming in. So there's going to be a third person here. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, we do have the King of Swords upright. Oops, it's okay. Then we have the Nine of Swords upright. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles 
upright. Then we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you're going to get clear communication from this person. Someone here is going to just kind of just tell you, hey, I think it's time for us to separate. I think it's time for us to maybe go our separate ways because we do have the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody here is going to become single. Okay, you might have been dealing with somebody who... Um, uh, someone here might have been like kind of a flatter or seductor or someone here might have been this was maybe like a temporary thing for this person perhaps um this definitely could have been somebody who you really shouldn't have trusted with your heart because this is somebody who can definitely break your heart and hurt you especially if this is a man it can be a woman as well take it as it resonates um but this is somebody who who might deceive you and is not how they appear to be, okay? And then we have, okay, the Ace of Wands, upright, the Eight of Wands, upright. Then we have the Three of Wands, upright. A lot of fire, guys. And then the Moon, reverse. Okay, so yeah, somebody here definitely wants a passionate new beginning, okay? Um... And remember, guys, the Ace of Wands signifies also the male phallet. So there might be a lot of, you know, sexy messages going back and forth um, with this third party here for one of you, whoever is involved with the third party. Um, I also see that, you know, this might be fast moving action. Something here might come in quick, uh, quick messages or quickly jump into a, a new connection because we do have the three of wands. Like I said, somebody here might have had a choice before. Maybe they weren't uncertain, but now they're leaning more to one choice because their hand is on the other, uh, on one of the um, wands. And they're looking out, waiting for the ships to come in. So they've made the decision to possibly leave this connection to go elsewhere or vice versa, take it as it resonates. Um, but like I said, I do see a lot of passion here. There is a lot of sexy stuff going on. Um, just saying, guys. And the moon is here and it's in reverse. So yeah, there was definitely things being hidden here. There was things in the dark here that maybe you weren't aware of or vice versa, which just also has left somebody really like in their head. I feel like somebody here got really mind fucked. Um, yeah, somebody completely kind of just messed with your head or feelings. Then we have the lovers. And we have the Knight of Wands with the Lovers. Yeah, somebody here definitely wants a new uh, beginning. This is like a new love affair. Someone new they might have met. Uh, two people coming together. A lot of flirtation, like I said, because there is a lot of fire energy here. And then we have the Knight of Wands. And this is basically the fuck boy and fuck girl card, okay? So somebody here is all about the passion. Lots of passion. Very fiery energy. This person can come and go um, very quickly into your life or the other person's life who's there for a good time, not a long time, or who's always in and out. Um, so yeah, I do feel that there's a lot of passion here. You might have been dealing with somebody, or this could have been you, take it as it resonates, who was, you know, all about the passion. So someone's going to be left out in the cold because of this. They're going to cut somebody out so they can pursue other prospects, a new prospect, because they feel that they'll be happier there. That's not the best cards, guys. I'm sorry. That's really shitty for this person to do that to you or vice versa. Then we have healing family issues and it's in reverse. So yeah, I feel like, you know, you guys are not going to be really able to have some kind of new resolution here. Um, somebody here is not too open to try to resolve whatever um, stuff's going on with you guys. Um, I feel like they just, they're not open to it. They're ready to move on and move forward. And then we have codependency. Okay, so in the past, you guys might have been, you know, in a, um, very codependent on each other. Maybe you depended on them very much emotionally or financially, or this could have been any kind of addiction. This is kind of like the devil card, uh, bondage, addiction of any sort, sex addiction, alcohol, um, you know, just depression, anxiety, worry, very bound to this person. But someone's here is already letting go of that. Someone is freeing themselves from this codependency energy, okay? 
Then we have heart to heart conversation and it's in reverse. So yeah, somebody here wants to have a heart to heart conversation, um, like at least some kind of closure. And I feel like the other person is definitely closed off to it. They don't want to, they just kind of want to cut it really fast, really quick, just, you know, and then bounce, you know, and the other person here is kind of like, why just tell me what's going on. And the other person's just not going to give them clear communication. They're just going to be very like, I'm going to go, we're leave, I'm done kind of thing. And it's really going to hurt someone's feelings here. I feel like someone's going to be very hurt here. Then we have children and it's upright. So with children, again, it's, it's, it's it could be several things. You can have children. They can have children. There's just children involved. You can be pregnant or expecting a child, whatever. Um, or this could simply just mean that um, it's a new beginning. Somebody here wants a new beginning, a new chapter in their life. Okay. And then I have these oracles for you. Wait. Do not rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Guys, I'm so sorry. This is like not the best reading, especially for February being the month of February. Um, so I'm sorry, but this is what I have for you. I don't want to lie to you and give you good news. And if it's not, you know, um, but you know what? Let me leave you with a shell reading then. So this is how it's going to work. Um, I want you guys to concentrate on a yes or no question. Really meditate over it and if possibly say this question out loud. Now I'm going to meditate over the shells and I'm going to cast them and give you your yes or no question uh, answer. Can't see. I'm missing a shell. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I feel like this is going to be a no. Yes, I, I feel like this is going to be a strong no, guys. I'm sorry. I hope for some of you the no is a good um answer but i'm kind of leaning towards it's probably not um and this is your reading guys i hope it was at least of help to you guys um thank you so much and stay magical